This jump shot has helped me hit 100% of my shots in many games during the 2K Become a Pro event. It's helped me hit contested shots and fades over multiple defenders consistently. I am confident that this is the best jump shot in NBA 2K24. What it do, Uchi gang, Uchi gang. I hope y'all staying blessed. Share the blessing by hitting like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Shooting in NBA 2K24 can be summarized in one word inconsistency. So many patches, hot fixes, and updates that have made shooting a pure nightmare. But what hasn't changed throughout all of these changes is my jump shot. Remember earlier during this 2K cycle when I said, find a jump shot that works for you? I really, really meant what I said. I Will show you a few gameplay videos and throughout the video i will also let you know what dribble pull-ups and hot jumpers i use first off here's a little gameplay of me using this jump shot in the park where the delay is the worst of any game mode in my career not sure why i was wide open but i'm letting it fly splash they try to shoot too, but they're missing because they do not have my jump shot <laughs> once we secure the board though you already know i'm running to that corner for the green hey shout out to my teammate for making his shot no shout out to this one though because he missed with takeover come on man next possession now my matchup respects my jumper so what do i do and i blow by it once twice and hit him with a toxic floater fast break i guess he didn't learn his lesson because it's a green last possession of the game i do not want to play with my food this guy respects my three balls so he jumps <laughs> i blow past him for the little floater and that's game bro but Uch, he only took easy shots so i did not see any crazy fade or shot making skills so is that jump shot really good i knew you were gonna say that so watch this next gameplay in the rack and it will definitely convince you man just so you can trust what i say look at the shooting splits if you don't trust my annoying voice trust my stats and that's facts rack random 101 just find a spot in the corner or the hash stay there and wait for the ball they pass it to me and it's green i find myself wide open again splash wreck random lesson number two once your team gets a stop and you're not a big run in transition the ball finds me and it's a splash even though i did not have my feet set next possession i relocate to the corner my defender gets too close and i just run past him and hit a floater because he was expecting a jumper here they expect me to spot up for a three i drive to the paint and hit a floater in the big face hey yo i run off ball and i hit another wide open shot i get an outlet pass from the big and two defenders run at me thinking i'm gonna drive to the basket instead i fake running back to the three-point line and i blow past them for a midi fade again they expect me to take a contested three because he's too close i blow past him and go hit my wide open mid-range off the miss for my teammate the big gets the offensive board swings it to me and y'all know the color of the release already and again a little cherry picking because hey man we gotta stop on defense man i run on the break set my feet but 2k said nope i sold it bro i try to relocate to the corner three but my teammates Bruh. turned the ball over luckily it went over to my matchup since i knew he cannot time his jumper i didn't even bother running back on defense rank random 103 play the numbers <laughs> my teammate misses a wide open shot with mamba take but rb gets the board passes me the ball and i swing it fast to my teammate and this time he greens it i just kept the defense guessing we get to the end of the first half and no surprise i am the top performer with 23 points while shooting 83 percent from deep second half i pick up where i left off and i grin this shot despite the bad weird catch animation next possession i get the ball and my guy is guarding me so close i just fake him to the left bro past him like he was not even there for wide open layup again once we get a stop i run down the court like you send bolt to start the break ai swings the ball to me and this guy gets very close as well i blow past him and my matchup reaches out of nowhere and i immediately put up a floater for a crazy and one i score my three points the hard way by knocking down my free throw and here wide open i miss my timing this is to show you that you're still human and you will be missing shots bruh like you're gonna be missing it's guaranteed but you will definitely make a lot more shots than you will miss like on this next position
We're up by 38 points and my matchup leaves me open? I just take the mid range to give my center the assist. Last shot of the game, no sportsmanship at all. I splash another wide open three ball. I finished the game with 39 points on 80% from three point line and 79% from the field, bruh. Before I give you guys the jump shot, it looks like 98% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed. Come on, man. Bless your boy and hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it, I promise, and it's free. Now that you guys have seen how good this jumper can be and how well it feels even under a lot of delay, I'm sure you're asking yourself, Ouch, what is the jumpo, huh? Stop teasing us now. Okay, okay, here it is. It is JT Thor, Luka Duncic, and Oscar Robertson. The speed is quick and the blending is 55% Luka, 45% Oscar Robertson. The reason why I set up my blending like that is because of the visual cue. On release, you have to let the ball go right after the little shoulder turn. When my player is about to release the ball, there is a very clear shoulder turn before the actual release animation. That's how I'm able to grin with this jumper almost every time. Because the JT Thor base can be a little iffy for some people, you could switch it with Ben Shepard. It looks identical to JT Thor, but it has a better timing stability and better grades all around. However, you will need to have an 86 mid-range or 3-point rating to unlock this base instead of 82. Now, for my shooting animations, I use Paul George on my hub jumper. I snatch ankles every time with this animation when I have sharp tape. For my spin jumper, I use Pro and for the post fade, post hop fade as well as dribble pull up i use kobe kobe is the best fade this year by far it's not even close it's so smooth if you have an 85 plus rating mid-range fading is a breeze this year shooting almost made me give up on this game so if you're struggling i understand frankly i don't play this game as often as i did when it first came out about two months ago but i still find joy in just hopping on the game with my friends and hoping let me know in the comments how you're finding shooting these days is it still very hard or are you just greening every shot now please do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and stay gucci until next time uchi out peace